Fructose is mainly metabolized in the liver. Most of it is converted into fat and stored. So eating too much food containing fructose will increase your visceral fat. That's the fat you don't see, stored deep in the belly or around the organs like the liver and intestines. Eating too much fructose food can even cause non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Many people think that fruits are just wholesale healthy. They wouldn't imagine any health downside to eating fruit. But fruit, depending on which fruit we're talking about, contains varying levels of fructose or fructose sugar, which in high enough quantities can be harmful to the body. The question is, which fruits are higher and which fruits are lower in fructose? Welcome to Vital Signs. Having a healthy body, mind, and soul is vital to a happy life. So let's get healthy. I'm Brendan Fallon. Like me, you've probably heard from day one to eat more fruits and vegetables. In our culture, eating healthy is almost synonymous with eating more fruits and vegetables. And the two are almost always bundled together. Maybe this has been part of the marketing strategy all along. What does make sense in this bundling of fruit and vegetables is that fruit contains as much dietary fiber as vegetables. They also contain similar amounts of vitamins, trace metal elements, and antioxidants. These are all essential nutrients for our health. Fruit also contains other good stuff like fiber and micronutrients. We'll go into that in another episode. Today is about looking at the dark side of fruit. It's fructose content. Please remember to click that like button and subscribe to the channel. So fruit has fructose. Too much fructose is harmful. So why not cut down on the higher fructose fruits? Here are some of the main offenders. First off, there's dried fruit. As we've all seen, this is often put in packets and sold alongside confectionery, probably for good reason. It's quite high in fructose sugar. It's actually the processing of dried fruit that increases the concentration of fructose. For example, dried dates have 55 grams of fructose. Raisins have 42 grams. Dried cranberries, 40. And dried plums, 30 grams of fructose. The drying of these fruits can also cause them to lose some vital fibers, iron, potassium, and vitamins especially vitamin C. Next on the high fructose offenders list is mangoes. Mangoes just about top the list of high fructose fruits. I know, I know many of you are probably experiencing deep disillusionment right now. I understand, I'm from Australia. I've had mangoes so good, it was like a spiritual experience. I'm not saying we can't eat these things. I think it's more a case of knowing which fruits are high in fructose and maybe going a little easier on those ones. The average mango contains at least 30 grams of fructose. The average plantain contains a little bit less, so it weighs in at number three on the high fructose scale. That's okay, I've never been that mad about them anyway. Number four is grapes, made famous by the classic 1939 John Steinbeck novel, The Grapes of Wrath. Maybe not quite. The average grape may not have that much wrath, but it does have a fair amount of fructose. A cup of red or green grapes contains 25 grams of fructose. The fifth most high fructose fruit are pears, an Asian pear contains about 19 grams of fructose. A regular pear has about 16 grams. Number six is the watermelon. No summer is complete without them, but the average slice of watermelon has around 18 grams of fructose. Number seven is the pineapple. No pizza is complete without it. I'm joking, I'm joking. Please don't leave angry comments, especially if you're Italian. I know it's a cardinal sin to put pineapple on pizza. A cup of pineapple has about 15 grams of fructose. Then we have apples and bananas, pulling into place at number eight. Naturally, it depends on which type of apple we're talking about. A Red Delicious, for example, is going to have more fructose than my personal favorite, the Granny Smith. On average, though, an apple or banana has around 15 grams of fructose. Number nine on the FBI's most wanted list for fructose are blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And look, I don't want to get political here, but blackberries have the highest fructose content. A cup of blackberries is about 22 grams of fructose. Blueberries 14, strawberries 8 grams, and raspberries just 6 grams of fructose. These berries slide into the low fructose content side of the scale. If fruit has less than 15 grams, we can say it has low fructose content. Which other fruits fall into this category? I hear you wondering. Well, a medium-sized orange contains 14 grams of fructose. A slice of melon, a grapefruit, a papaya, all contain just 11 grams of fructose. Then there's kiwi fruit with 5 grams per 100 grams. A serving of cantaloupe has two grams, and just as a matter of comparison, a serving of almonds contains only one gram of fructose. And avocados have none at all, which is strange for a fruit. Some say it's a vegetable. I say, let the avocado decide, and let's cast off these rigid, outdated categorizations. The modern fruit industry is highly developed, 
hybridization, genetic modification, pesticides, and other yield enhancement methods have made fruit what it is today. Fructose content has potentially gotten higher. That's not to mention the other influences making food more complex and often less healthy. Judging its nutritional value isn't as straightforward as it once was. But don't worry, stick with me, and we'll work it out together. You can leave your own thoughts on fruit and fructose in the comments. We look forward to reading them. I'm Brendan Fallon, and this is Vital Signs. See you next time.